Congress set to roll back extra safety rule in teen trucking program. In a move that has sparked controversy and raised concerns about road safety, Congress appears ready to roll back an additional safety requirement in a program aimed at recruiting younger truck drivers. The provision, buried within a bipartisan budget bill unveiled on Sunday, March 3, 2024, seeks to block the Department of Transportation from mandating freight carriers to install inward-facing cameras for apprentice truck drivers. The initiative in question is the Safe Driver Apprenticeship Program, which was designed to address the trucking industry's struggle with recruiting younger drivers. Under the program, drivers aged 18 to 20 were allowed to participate in a pilot program, despite federal law mandating that long-haul truckers be at least 21 years old. However, despite hopes of bringing in thousands of eager young drivers, the program has seen lackluster participation, with only a few dozen apprentices signing up according to recent data. The trucking industry, represented by the American Trucking Associations, ATA, has cited the additional safety requirement of inward-facing cameras as a significant deterrent to participation in the program. Nathan Marins of the ATA argued that these mandates have stifled program participation and limited the collection of valuable data mandated by Congress. While some attribute the low enrollment to disinterest among younger workers in long-haul trucking, others see the initiative as a misguided attempt to address industry hiring woes. Critics argue that the program risks compromising road safety by allowing inexperienced drivers to operate large commercial vehicles, often spending extended periods away from home. Despite these concerns, there appears to be bipartisan agreement in Congress to relax the extra safety rule. Senwar Deb Fisher, Arneb, successfully added the anti-camera language to a Senate spending bill last year, and the provision made its way into bipartisan House and Senate legislation over the weekend without significant public scrutiny or debate. However, proponents of the apprenticeship program stress that extensive mentoring and high-tech safety equipment are in place to mitigate the risks associated with younger drivers. They argue that the program offers a pathway for young individuals to enter the industry, provided they receive proper training and oversight. Critics, such as Zach Cahalan of the Truck Safety Coalition, view the rollback of safety measures as a dangerous compromise that prioritizes industry interests over public safety. They warn that lowering the interstate driving age and relaxing safety regulations could have serious repercussions for road users. As Congress moves forward with the budget bill containing these provisions, the debate over the balance between industry needs and the road safety will likely intensify. The outcome will not only shape the future of the trucking industry, but also have significant implications for the safety of our nation's roads. The potential impact on road safety cannot be overstated, and it is imperative that lawmakers carefully consider the consequences of any changes to existing regulations. In addition, the broader implications of this decision extend beyond the immediate concerns of the trucking industry. It raises questions about the role of government regulation in ensuring public safety, particularly in industries where there is a delicate balance between economic interests and public welfare. The trucking industry plays a crucial role in the nation's economy, but this should not come at the expense of road safety. Furthermore, the issue of attracting younger individuals to the trucking profession is a multifaceted one that requires a comprehensive approach. While apprenticeship programs may offer one solution, efforts to improve working conditions, provide better pay, and address lifestyle concerns are also necessary to make the profession more appealing to younger generations. The decision by Congress to roll back safety measures in the teen trucking program raises important questions about the prioritization of industry interests over public safety. As lawmakers navigate this complex issue, it is essential that they consider the potential consequences for road safety and the broader implications for regulatory policy. Only by striking the right balance between industry needs and public welfare can we ensure the safety and well-being of all road users.